guys, Veggie Girl here, and I have another book review for you while I am sitting in the library waiting to um, get out. So this is The Cheapskate ne Next Door by Jeff Yeager, and I love Jeff Yeager. I do. He's a big, goofy weirdo, but he's hilarious, and I love him. Uh, <laughs> he's sometimes called America's ultimate cheapskate skate and he's been featured on several shows. Um, he's he's funny. Um, he has a YouTube channel and he has um, a website. And this is one of several books of his. Um, to make this book, he uh, well to tour with this book, he actually did something interesting. Instead of accepting money from his publisher, he um, went around the country to tour on his book and he stayed with fans. He stayed with Cheap Steak Skates and instead he donated the money that he made, the $30,000 or the 30, that the publisher had set aside for um, him to tour on for the book to public libraries. So if nothing else, that endears me to him. So I'm sitting in a public library right now. So in a private room, I'm not disturbing anyone. But uh, this is a book I've read several times. I will admit that sometimes Jeff goes a little far. <laughs> he's a man, and he's a man that'll do just about anything to save a penny. And sometimes I'm like, ooh, not willing to do that. <laughs> but other times I'm like, oh, that's, that's a good idea, Jeff. Um, anything from like unplugging stuff from the walls to um, only wearing and buying clothes that aren't dry cleanable, which I've always done, um, just to save money because the dry clean I'm just not willing to spend money on the dry cleaners. So uh, he talks about um, coupons, and he doesn't use coupons. He he just kind of does with less. And so he talks to people throughout the country in the book on how they save money, and it's a really neat. It's a really neat read and it's kind of inspiring too. That'll get you to kind of think about some of your money choices. So um, everything from like wait a few years even after things come out to purchase them or um, wait a few years to have kids after marriage. He doesn't have kids. Um, he's, he's just a big lovable weirdo and he'll like he'd pick up roadkill probably, and and <laughs> here we go. Um, here's a here's a fun tip from a um, a fan of his. When at home, urinate on your lemon tree, uh, which is <laughs> um, this is one of the tips he picked up from one of the people he stayed with um, to conserve water, and um, so you don't flush as much and you don't have to water your lemon tree, and. It says from a miser advisor in Australia, um, who folks say she makes the best lemonade down under. I don't think I want to try her lemonade, though I'm sure, I'm sure urine isn't that much different than water, but I, I won't be going outside and, oh goodness, she's a she. I, I will not be going outside and watering my plants that way. Just a little too far, a little too far. So, um, this, this book was published in 2010, and he has some books published before that, and I think he has one after it. But it's just funny. It's, um, and he talks about not, it's, it's a funny book. I, I can't really explain this well, but um, it talks about cleaning your plate and saving money by not throwing away food. You know, some of the basics, but he presents it in a really interesting and hilarious light. So I can't say that I... Um, I changed any habits after reading this book. I've actually read this book a couple of times, but it's it's a fun read. It <laughs> where you can kind of be like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and it's definitely um, inspiring to kind of stay frugal. So there's a uh, yeah, there's that, and there's just these entire cheapskate speaks, cheapskates speak sections and. Uh, cheap shots, like this is about uh, funeral expenses, and he's just a funny guy. He's, um, sometimes he's a little too much, but he's a funny, funny guy. So that is um, Cheapskate Next Door by Jeff Yeager. I'm um, gonna link to his stuff 
on um, online below. It's got the website www.theultimatecheapskate. I'm really having an issue with that word. I'm sorry, people. Cheapskate.com. And um, I would give this three out of four budget girl penny pig stars because it's entertaining. It's somewhat educational, but it's probably the funniest uh, money book I've read in a while. So, all right, bye.